Hey guys, Rambling Bob here again. I want to talk to you about one of the coolest boats I've ever found. I own three of them. They're called the Sea Eagles. Have you ever heard of them? Uh, Avion makes boats like that too. They're like inflatable. If you remember watching the old movie with uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Commando, where he, you know, he takes that boat up on the beach, kind of like uh, how they did in uh, World War II with those inflatable raft military kind of boats. That's what this company makes. It makes the bigger ones that are like uh, um, very, very rigid, but very, very portable. So you could have a huge boat. Like the biggest boat I have is 14 and a half feet long and six feet wide. Now that's really a large boat. Now what if I told you I could fold it up and put it in the trunk of my car? Now I can't obviously show you these on my workbench because, well, they're huge. It's 14 by six feet. You have to be outside for that and it's cold outside so I can't really show it right now. But I'm going to show you the three models I have. The first one is the Sea Eagle 330. This is a, uh, a, a kayaking canoe. It can, two people, they have inflatable seats, they have a special locking um, uh, mechanism to where you inflate it on uh, on the little ports. I think it's like a uh, I forgot what they call it. Let me let me find out what it's called real quick. It's a second. It's like a holly. What do they call that? It's a, it's a special patented port that they use. Um, but I, I, I it, it it it'll come to me while I'm doing this review. Um, but it, it's a special locking thing where you, you 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 twist it on and it locks. And then when you pop it off, the air can't come out because there's a there's a lock in there. It's like a pressure lock on a spring. And then if you push it with your finger, it's not like those old ones where you squeeze them and the air comes out. Like this is like a legit air holding uh, mechanism in there. And then it has a cap that twists and locks on top of it. It's really, really good. Very good quality. I've had mine for a long time. A long time. And I still have them. That It proves in the pudding that this product is well worth every penny because I still have them. Um, so th this is the 330. Basically, it's a, a, a two-person canoe. Let me get the picture big here for you. Uh, well, that's big. Okay. So it, it's a two-person canoe. This can fold down in this little bag here, and you can carry it on your back. Uh, this is a patch kit that, that comes with the system. I've never had to use mine uh, ever, not even once. Um, this is the bag, what it would look like when you carry it. Um, it's, it's not too heavy. Uh, that's about the size. So she's probably about five feet tall. He's probably about six to give you an idea. Uh, very stable. It's, it's, you know, when you have compressed air in any kind of a boat, it's very, very stable. Um, very uh, uh, strange at first. Like when, when, you, when you walk on these boats on the inside, because you have those hard uh, uh, inflatable uh, compressed air sides, uh, the, the the middle is kind of spongy. So the, the best way I explain walking on this or the next one I'm going to show you is equivalent to walking on a very, very firm waterbed. If you remember that, that's what it feels like to walk on there. But the outsides, I mean, it, it's almost damn near impossible to tip this over because with anything that's that's inflatable like that, it creates a suction that kind of goes to the water. So like you can literally pull on this and pull yourself in, uh, back into the boat. Really, really neat designs for these boats. Uh, that's just, a, uh, uh, what is it called, the, the skegs. I didn't get these. Um, yeah, skegs. So basically what that is, is, you know, to help you steer through the thing. Mine didn't come with that. I, I had the older model that didn't have these. These are basically an easier way, um, almost like a, a the, the fin of a shark. So it, it kind of helps you get through the water. You know what I mean? It's like a steering thing. Um, I, I don't have it. It didn't bother me. Uh, but it is nice to see on the newer models. I wish mine would have had it over the years. Um, Let's see, these are the inflatable seats. This is that, that twisting cap I was telling you about. It's hard to see on this video and I apologize. For some reason, my camera turns the screen blue. <laughs> I'm still learning how to do the videos, guys. Uh, here's the back of it. It's got a little pouch here so you can put little soda pops and snacks in the back here. But these are inflatable. So after you uh, deflate them, these, these go up very, very small. And then here's the, uh, the foot pump. Now I've got three of these. It comes uh, one per boat. Uh, that I bought. They, they they press down and then they link together uh, with like a little string and then you have all the little uh, ports that you need to, to uh, you know, get the air in there and everything. So that's the 330 professional two-person kayak. Um, uh, I like using them one person at a time and that way you can kind of lay down if you want. So you know, we only own one, but I'd like to own a pair. That way my wife can have one and I can have one. We can kind of journey down the river or across the lake uh, together, but individually. You know what I mean? It's just more comfortable. And then you can take more gear. These hold a lot of weight. You'd really be surprised. When you have compressed air, you can hold a ton of weight, a ton of weight. Um, 
it's seven seven feet so uh it, it's just under eight feet tall uh which is e is very easy to carry it's very when, once you uh, also inflate something it get, it becomes very very light um it doesn't have the weight it, i know it's not much um i'm gonna take a guess at it mine's probably about 30 pounds you know i could easily backpack it anywhere uh, and then the next one I want to show you is the SE9. So the SE9 is a bigger boat where you get in between the kayak and an actual, what they call a sport runner, which is like a full-size pontoon boat almost. So this is a fully inflatable boat. Uh, the the floor that is in there is inflatable as well. When you, when you walk on these, it has that same feeling as I was saying at the other one. It feels like a very, very stiff, firm waterbed when you walk on this. These are inflatable seats right here. Let me get these pictures bigger. Hopefully these get bigger. Of course not. Okay, so you get the bag to put it in. It, 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 now, here's the weird thing. This folds up literally as small as the uh, the the kayak. It, it, like, unbelievable as far as camping and fishing and stuff or throwing it in your trunk of your car and just having it there. It comes with the patches. This gives you an idea of the size. These are probably two six-foot guys here. You can have a motor mount on the back. I never bought that. I never wanted it. I wanted a truly portable boat that I can go in any small river or pond whenever I want without having the registration and all that. Um, the, the strings that go around the sides, very, very durable. It, it, this creates that suction to where you can literally pull on these strings and pull yourself out of the water. That boat does not tip over. You have to literally force it off the water. The, the, the strange suction with it is it's a really cool added feature. There's also multiple chambers when you get to uh, these boats too. The, the kayak has it too, I forgot to mention that. That, you know, it's like say for some reason this pops. There's another chamber, as you see that little lip right there, there's another chamber on top and then the in, uh, inflatable floor. So just in case, you know, God forbid something were to happen and you lose one of those chambers, you could easily row to shore with the other two chambers fully intact. That's a really good safety thing for out there. You know, just in case, if, if you don't, uh, you know, if, if you're not a good swimmer, you know, a life jacket is a good idea. But that's a good backup plan, having multiple chambers in these inflatable boats. Um, there you can see the guy standing up and then that's a trolling motor on the back. Um, like I said, I, I never bought the motor mount. I wanted just the, uh, the oars just so I can get out there and get to fish it. I want to go uh, like, this is nice, but then you have to put that, that, you know, that 12 volt battery in there. Now that we have these power stations, though, that might change the game because you can put a power station in there and it's much easier to, uh, to hook that up to a trolling motor then uh, hooking the whole battery and the cables and bolting it down. Oh my God, you know, it was just so much hassle. I just wanted something quick. Um, there you go. That, that gives a, a really good idea uh, of the size. Now, th this fella, uh, he's got at least be 250 pounds, um, probably six feet tall, it looks like. Um, this is a SE9. When it's fully inflated, it's actually a little bit more than nine feet. They just call it the SE9 because it's a nine foot model. And then it's probably about four feet wide. So the, it, it is a lot of uh, space. You got about two feet inside the, uh, uh, the sitting area. And then uh, uh, these tubes are about 14 inches a piece. So that's about four, uh, you know, four feet of, of space. Uh, and then it, it tosses into a car like that. So you can see average car, it goes right into the trunk. Uh, fantastic products. Here's two guys standing up in the lake. You can see uh, you, uh, you don't have any ripples in the water as far as like, you know, shaking or unbalancing. I know it's just a picture. I wish I had a video of this. Um, I wish I had videos of mine. I wish I could put it on the table and inflate it for you guys and show you these. But uh, really, really cool products. This is a very, uh, uh, like, like uh, was it uh, Avion or A A Avion? I, I, I think it's Avion as is another company. There's a bunch that make these, except the price difference is, is uh, really big. I mean, when you get a the, the professional name and you get into this stuff man it's a thousands and thousands of dollars um that one retails for about uh, 500 bucks worth every penny they have customer support on amazon too that goes right to them right away so you don't got to goof around if you have questions now we're going to get to the big daddy mother load here this is the 14 sr this was my favorite inflatable boat that i have ever bought uh they don't have a lot of pictures on here but i'm going to find one real quick uh with a video this is 14 plus feet long uh, by about six feet wide it is a monster and it folds up in this little bag right here and goes in the trunk of your car let me look real quick on uh, on youtube i just want you to see this um the size of this i i really wish that i could um uh, sr uh inflate this on on my desk but it just 
it's uh, obviously like it's too big. Uh, this is one of the videos. This is what made me buy it. <laughs> they, they actually did this, uh, I believe, in California for a test. And, you know, th th that guy lifted probably about, uh, man, probably it is probably about 10 feet out of the ground. I don't recommend that. Um, this is the actual commercial from Sea Eagle Boat. I'm going to pull down the audio here. This is a, a young fellow who bought this, and uh, I have the exact same boat that he does. I have the wooden seats now. Uh, this is a 100% same model I have. Uh, the, the new model actually has um, the aluminum seats, so that's an upgrade. Uh, my wood seats, they work fine. Also, the transom back here, mine is wood, and the new one, you see the wood back here, the new one is uh, uh, ABS plastic, which is much nicer because it makes it lighter. Uh, wood that's like, you know, it was, it was like this thick. It's very heavy because, you know, this can hold a 40 horsepower motor. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with fishing, but you put a 40 horsepower motor on a boat like this, like a little dinghy that literally weighs about 120 pounds plus your skinny butt on there. So that's like 200 and some pounds. That 40 horse will lift up and bring you out of that water. I promise you. I run a 9.9 uh, uh, .9 on mine, a brand new Evinrude. And I'll tell you what, I, I go every bit of 15, 20 miles an hour by myself. And the front end can lift up like a skateboard. I mean, it's it's really an interesting, interesting uh, uh, boat. Um, here you can see there's, there's a, a ton of people on the boat. I'm going to pull down the audio. Uh, they obviously, um, I, I don't want to say overloaded the boat, but that, that's a lot of people on the boat. And I, that's the only, that's a 12.6 model. Um, I don't want to play his video, but th that, that's about the size. You see the two bags he's carrying there. I, I don't want to put other people's stuff out there like that. I'm just trying to uh, kind of get a picture so you guys can kind of see it. But w w one of the things that literally, literally made me, let me go to the website, um, made me buy this was when, when I saw that, that guy uh, lifting, uh, see Eagle, when uh, when I saw that guy uh, jump that wave, I think that was in California, I literally bought three boats the same day. I bought the uh, the 14 SR, I bought the SC9, and I bought uh, the uh, the the nine or the eight foot kayak. Uh, they do have other boats. I mean, th that's literally like a pontoon boat. Um, that's a, a rigid bottom. It looks like, or that might be inflatable. That's a new one. I've never seen that one before. But this, this is a company that, uh, oh, here, 16-foot uh, uh, fish skiff. Okay, that one I've never seen before. So there's, there's the new gear here. But uh, let's see, the fishing boats. Uh, where, where's the big daddy? Where's the big daddy here? Uh, right here. Uh, they do make a rescue version. Uh, the difference is a little bit uh, uh, different colors. But th this is the one I actually have. It's a 14SR. It is a monster boat to be able to pull out a trunk of your car. Uh, if you don't put a motor on it, you don't have to register it, and you can literally have a, a 2,000 watt capacity payload on there. That That is a ton of weight for a bubble. It's basically a bubble. Uh, this stuff is made, if, if I can relate it to anything, it feels like if you punch it, it literally feels like you're punching a car tire. That is how stiff uh, the, the, uh, the, the outliner boat, it's uh, like a super ply. Uh, 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 let me see if I can find how many plies it was again. Uh, it's 130, 130 pounds with the inflatable floor in there. So about 100 pounds for the hull, uh, for the boat itself. I want to say how many plies it was. I thought it was five or seven. Uh, so you could put seven people, 2,000 watts, uh, two, sorry, 2,000 pounds. That is a ton, a ton of people. Um, there's five chambers in there, so you have the port to starboard, the bow, the keel, and the floor. That's five levels of safety in case you were to pop them. I've never popped mine. Um, uh, here, inflation, 3.2 PSI per chambers and 10 PSI for the floor. So when you walk on this one, it feels much better than that uh, walking on the, uh, um, uh, the real stiff waterbed. This one actually feels like a floor. That's nice. I don't have the inflatable floor on this one. Uh, I have the actual wood inserts, which, uh, you know, put the, the weight up a little bit higher. Um, now, I noticed that they dropped the engine rating down to the new one to 25 HP. I can still put a 40 horse, and maybe that's because of the, yeah, with the inflatable floor. I have the wooden floor, the older one, and uh, mine is rated, and it's certified uh, on the plate. On the, It says 40 horsepower, 2,000 pounds. 
uh, 15 inch shaft, which is a short shaft. Um, it's just unbelievable. Unbel to, to be able to take this out of the trunk of your car and go fishing is just, it's absolutely phenomenal. I bought it many years ago. Um, let's see if I can, if I can give uh, another thing here. Let's go back here. We got to go to gear. I want to show you something that's kind of cool. Um, I never got any credit for it. Um, I'm going to put it out there now. Uh, I, I invented this. Um, this I, I don't work for Sea Eagle. Um, as, as a young fella, I was I was young and a little naive. Um, I I, uh, <laughs> I I sent in and told people uh, my uh, invention, if you will. And next thing you know, I saw it on Sea Eagle's website. Uh, now, obviously, I have no way to prove that, and that's fine. You know, let bygones be bygones. But uh, this could have made me a millionaire easy because this is a very simple. Uh, mine had little straps that, uh, well, here's a strap, but mine had little straps that went on the back of the boat, and then you can literally walk it down, like up here, if I got a picture here, yeah, like that, but mine mine kind of went on the back of the boat, but that's my idea, I had that when I was 18 years old, and I remember telling a, a, a fella about it, next thing you know, I saw it on the website, <laughs> like six months later, uh, so I, I don't know if, you know, they got lucky, or uh, they just had it, because I had the same wheels, I had the same design, uh, mine was uh, basically a conduit pipe with a PVC over the top with two uh, like baby wheelbarrow kind of tires like that and then the straps that would go on to the handles in the back. But uh, I'm not mad about it. Just, uh, uh, boy, I wish, wish I would have had at least a shot out, guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, great company, though. I don't know. The, the, the fella that I was telling this to when I was a kid uh, sold the idea to the company. But that is 100%. That's my idea. I invented that. So um, it would be nice to just, just get a little bit of recognition. I don't want the money for it. That, that, was, a, that was a fantastic boat. I love this company. This, is, this, this company is no joke. Uh, they make some fantastic stuff. Uh, just to give you an idea. So this is 14 by 6. Okay. So if we were to go and we typed in the Avion. Um, I don't even know how to spell it. I never, uh, I never bought one in inflatable boat uh, it's a very very big company uh, let's see Brist Explorer uh, okay where's an Avion uh, I don't see him but depending on um, the quality of the boats um, Avion is a very expensive product let me see let's see if we can find it real quick here inflatable blah 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 swordfish uh, inflatable that's Brist Dolphin yeah, see, I, I don't think they sell it on, on Amazon. Um, but, you know, those boats can get really pricey, really pricey. And it, it, it comes down to, uh, like, this is 3000 bucks, but you get all that extra stuff. You get, you get the, uh, the canopy, the seats, you get the, uh, the aluminum seats, uh, the, the front bag, uh, the pumps and everything. Uh, very, very good system. And like I said, I bought it years ago. But, guys, if, if you want to have some fun this year... Uh, no jokes. If you want to get in the water and just really have some fun with your family, if you got kids, I get throw them in one of these. I guarantee you, you won't hear a, a peep out of them for hours unless they're having fun screaming out in the middle of the lake somewhere. But uh, I have these three models. I stand behind all three of these very well. Um, they all fold up small enough to fit into a very very small car. Matter of fact, the um, the 330, which is the kayak, and the SE9. I could fold up small enough to fit on the back of my motorcycle when I was single years ago, and uh, I could take that to the lake. And then you you uh, you split the um, the oars into two pieces. The older versions had uh, two piece splitters, like uh, like these do. Um, as you can see, you could split them apart. There's a button here that you pop it apart and you make two pieces out of there. And um, uh, you know, I I, I could I could take a small motorcycle, go up to the middle of a pond in the middle of nowhere. Uh, with that foot pump, this little thing right here, and I could literally hop in a pond with a uh, uh, like this a nine by this. It's about four feet, uh, nine by four feet, a little over nine by four feet, and you know if, uh, you get the the, the fold up fishing rods that you you the, the cascading ones. Have you ever seen them? Uh, not cascading up uh, the. The, the telescoping rods where you know you pop them out and you just toss it into the river or the, the water fantastic i spent many a years uh, on the water guys many many years um these boats are fantastic i'm going to leave a link if you want to check them out 
uh, take a look at them. Go watch videos on YouTube. I wish I could do a, a full proper review of these boats. Like I said, they, there's no way I can fit them inside my shop. Uh, they're huge. I'd have to do it outside. Maybe I'll do one this summer, do a, a proper better review. But I just wanted to put this uh, th this info out. Of, if, you know, some people never heard of this, this company, Sea Eagle. Uh, they were kind of un uh, unheard of a long time. I, I jumped on the bandwagon with these guys, uh, bought their products almost the first year or two when they first came out and they were doing that like door-to-door -door kind of sales thing i also bought the porta boat that's another great great product um let me see I, i'm going to show you that one real quick if i can if i could just have a a few more minutes of your time here uh that is an unbelievable product as well it's called a port a uh, boat it's uh let's see if they have them on here uh, i don't see them uh let me see i think i spelled it wrong port a boat they have a special spelling for it. I thought that's what it was. No, okay. So they, they don't sell the port -a boat on Amazon. Um, let me see here. port -a boat Let's see here. Uh, okay, so th this is it right here. Um, here's port uh, Yeah, see, see how it's a weird... That's my firewall, guys. Um, it, it, like, this is the boat. Uh, okay, yeah, go away. How do you get rid of this? Okay, uh, this is the boat. It doesn't look like a boat, but holy crap, is that a boat? It's it's like 12 feet long. It is solid as a rock. Uh, you can literally build it in seconds. This is what it looks like when it's when it's all the way. I mean, it's it's that big. It's no joke. And then it folds down to basically a skateboard, uh, not a skateboard, a surfboard. Um, it has the anti-sinking foam around the whole outside of it. Uh, I made mine a little bit more rigid, as you can see here. Uh, that's the foam and there's three seats and everything just pops together the transit in the back has a, 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 a Board that slides down and then this is the plastic what it's made out of this is super monster heavy stuff Here's guys rock climbing with this. This is this is nuts These guys are literally rock climbing holding this port boat and taking it up I, Why you'd want to do that? I have no idea, but this is a monster monster cool thing like uh, let's see if this video will play here Okay, I, I don't want to like I don't want to take his video, but I, I'll, I'll kind of go fast so you can see as, as you you unfold it like this. It kind of comes like a taco, almost like burrito, and then you kind of unfold it, and then you 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 put the stick and that holds it open so you can put the transmit in the seats. Um, let's see here. There's the seats going in. I just want to fast forward. Like I said, this is his video. I want you to go watch his video. Uh, this this is the thing where you can kind of you know have a protective bumper in case you hit something on the front of it. And then there's your oars that pop in half, and then basically you're 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 done. Um, these are a new uh, wheel that pops on the back. They kind of click on it. Um, very very cool boat, guys. That that's another one. I'll link all these. Uh, this one is not on Amazon, but these are. Uh, if you want to check them out, feel free, man. I'm, I'm I'm glad to be able to have this channel now, so I can show you all the the hobbies and cool things that that I like. If you want a badass boat. 14 SR. That's a monster cool boat. <laughs> take it out of your trunk and have six or seven of your friends standing on that boat uh, swimming. You can also tip it upside down and take the air out of the bottom and then have uh, like a big raft. We've done that too. All right, guys, Rambling Bob, I just want to show you some cool stuff that I learned over the years and really enjoyed. Uh, make sure you get out there and enjoy life this year, guys. We, we've gone through a, a heck of a, a, a lifetime here with this whole crazy lockdown stuff and all that stuff get back out there enjoy life take a take a little bit of risk in life um and to, you know try your best to enjoy what we have to work with all right guys ramble on be safe safe travels and i'll talk to you again soon bye <laughs>